All right. Shalom. 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 We're going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Don't monetize elders at Great Millstone who rule well and talk the truth. Sing honor to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the sins of men and women and children that do consist of the one third. Shalom, shalom, and also to the confusion of places in the four corners of the earth. I got the brother Yeromni Gabar with me. I always leave the link to his pages in my description box. Make sure you go to my description box and make sure that you subscribe to this brother's page. All right, beautiful brother. God fearing. Shalom, bro. Barack His grip also believes, and this is it's a beautiful and glorious thing. Come. Nonetheless, me and the brother just want to touch on a little bit of the memorial blowing of the trumpets. Um, we're gonna get right into it. Remember, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. Exactly. So as of right now, we can't keep everything perfectly. But Elder Apostle Tahar and other elders always stress that we should keep the Passover and that we should also keep the day of atonement. Shalom, shalom. How about you? Right. So, um, as of right now, I'm going to read Leviticus chapter 23, verse um, 24. Speak to the children of Israel whenever you want to bring some out or interject. Uh, you know, just let me know. Right. Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath. A memorial of blowing of trumpets mm -hmm. and holy convocation. Now, the seventh month, Esau would tell you that the beginning of a year but um, starts in the dead of winter. How is that? There's no life. So how can it start in January? The beginning of the month, the, the beginning of the year Winter. really starts in March, which is in spring. Mm -hmm. Why? Because life, bring, life springs forth and then you start to um, re reproduce and have off springs okay? so that's why we tend to have the passover around like the end of march because march would be quote unquote the third month of the gregorian calendar's year but going to um going into how it how the israelites how our calendar works we go based upon spring pretty much the spring equinox would really be like the beginning of a new year and so the seventh month would be quote unquote the ninth month of the Gregorian calendar, but it's the seventh month in the in the Israelite calendar, which will be started tonight as the sun goes down. All right, so this is the first day of the seventh month, meaning that the new moon dictates the first day of a month, all right, in the first day of the week. And for IUIC to still do the Friday to Saturday um um Sabbath is pretty much hypocrisy because I went to that page today. And they had the information for the verses for the memorial blowing of the trumpets. And you know what they said? It's based off the new moon. So then why won't you teach that? You know? Mm -hmm. But that's another story. Let's get back to this. All right? And knowing that the Sabbath is a high holy day, a day that's set apart for you to rest. All right? Not on a Sunday. All right? Whatever day that the new moon starts on. And it's, just, and it's, a, and it's a continuing cycle, which is about 28.6 days to be exact. So without further ado, let's continue on. Verse 25, you shall do no servile work therein, but you shall offer an offering mm. made by fire unto the Lord. And me and the brother, me and the brother, um, your one that was talking about that. Matter of fact, do you care to expound on what we were speaking about prior to coming alive? So basically, we're going into what? The burnt offerings, which go we went into what? Sin offerings, all right? Sacrifices, right. where what? We took rams, all right? Goats and things like that. And we brought it up. To be sacrificed right in front of what the uh the, the levites okay so this was what our heritage man okay in ancient practice which the lord has given unto us okay this is how he placed us to be separate from the nations Deuteronomy seven 7 to 6 okay he made us a royal priesthood all right and as the brother also added that we can't do it at this time okay because we're in the land of our captivity but I'm not sure. Would you uh, finish with the uh, Leviticus? Yeah, I was going to finish up with that. Okay. And I'll, if you got something to add, uh, go ahead. If you got something to add, go ahead. Huh, because in the uh, the book of Numbers, let's go to the book of Numbers real quick. The book of Numbers, the 10th chapter. Yep. If you go oh, to Numbers. Real quick before you go there, let me nah, finish. Nah, nah, nah. Yep. Last verse. Leviticus yep. 23 and 25. You shall do no servile work, therein. Nope. 
but you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. And with that being said, some brothers or sisters may have jobs where they may have to work, you know, oh. so we can understand if you can't, you know, not work because we still under captivity, you know. But nonetheless, though, when it comes to the um the Passover and the Day of Atonement, you need to make sure you get those days off. Those are two days out of the year you need to take off. Go ahead. So, exactly. So, you know, like the brother said, like the scriptures say, we're doing our best to rehearse the righteous acts, okay? Until what? Yahweh Shai comes back and we what? We have the law in our inward parts and we're perfect, okay? So let's get into Numbers, the 10th chapter, and let's see how we observe it, okay? Another way. Well, adding to what the brother brought out in Leviticus 23. This is Numbers 10. I'm going to start at verse 1, okay? So it says, and the Lord spake unto Moses. Now, this is going back into what? The times of ancient Egypt, right? In, in the book of Exodus. When Moses led us out of Egypt, out of captivity, exactly. okay. So Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahushai dealt with Moses, okay, to what? To bring order, to set in 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 ordinance unto the people, okay. Holy high days, all right, high holy days, so on and so forth. So let's get it. Numbers ten and verse one says what? And the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Make thee two trumpets of silver. Of a whole piece shall thou make them, that thou mayest use them for the calling of assembly mm. and of the journeying of camps. Now, what is this? What does this bring to mind? Gather yourselves all together. What's that? Zephaniah, Zephaniah 2 and 1, right? Gather yourselves together. Okay. So this 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 the blowing of the trumpets was the gathering of the Israelites together. Okay, that's what it's about to observe the high holy day. Okay, so let's 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 continue. Verse three says, "And when they shall blow, slack it. And when they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation." So this is what all the Israelites coming together. Okay, and if they blow, but one trumpet. Then the princes, which are the heads of the thousands of Israel, so this is so today that will be what our elders, okay? Heads, so I think yeah. we got the elders of, of, of Great Millstone, okay. Right. And it says, Which are heads of the thousands of Israel shall gather themselves unto thee. Okay, so right now the trumpet is what? See, we don't well, a lot of us we don't have a horn, and if we do, that's cool, okay. But guess what? That trumpet is what? Through the mouth, man. Through the mouthpiece of the prophets, starting with, at, with the elders, okay? They send out these videos of what? They're saying what? Of the high holy days, okay? Of the day of atonement, uh, so on and so forth. So they use what? The unicorn, which is the internet. So that is what? The trumpet today, okay? To gather us, to gather the elect to observe these high holy days. Numbers 10 and 5. And that says, when you blow an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east part shall go forward. And when you blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journey. So I was just talking about what? You have certain Israelites that live what? In, in, in different parts, man. Okay. So it's basically what? Gathering all the nations together. One trumpet is a signal to get one group of Israelites and then the second trumpet, with the trumpet blowing uh, two times, is signaling what? The other uh, the other Israelites, okay? They all gather into one. Okay, that's the best way I could put it. And it says, But when the congregation is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound an alarm. Now, check this out. It goes into the sons of Aaron, the priests. And the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for an ordinance mm -hmm. forever throughout your generations. Throughout your generations. Mm -hmm. So that means that right now to this day, we are to, we are still to rehearse the righteous act. Exactly. Blame period. Like Paul said, I speak to them that know the law. Know ye not that um the that the law has dominion over a man as long as he lives. Live so to the generations mean all the way up until now. And going back to Leviticus the 23rd chapter and the uh, 24th verse 
where it says memorial, where it says blowing of trumpets. But you go into the blue letter, right? Count. That would be Strong's um, H 8643, and it's pronounced Tharawa'ah. Tharawa'ah, if I'm not mistaken. And it says, alarm signal, sound of tempest, mm. shout, shout or blast of war, or alarm or joy or joy okay mm -hmm. now the reason why i want to bring that out because really what we're doing right now we're the, the trumpet will blowing is pretty much like it's like a parade when you really think about how it's broken down you're gathering all the israelites and we're really having a joyful gathering it's Come. a holy convocation but it's joyful so mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know how jake would had an mlk parade in every damn city and all yeah. Jake was a whole bunch of debauchery <laughs> getting drunk smoking yep, weed yep. Women twerking, dudes out there making deals and all that kind of junk, right? Well, ours, our parade is to our power, to Yahweh by Shimei our shot. Yep. And it's really like it's really almost like a commemoration. It's it's I want I speak as a man. It's not like the Passover, but it's still like a Passover because it reminds us of our God that brought us out and gave us these laws as well. We got all the laws, statutes, and commandments at the bottom of Mount Sinai. Yep. That was after we left Egypt. You know, so it's always like it's always like a remembrance. Even when you read throughout the Bible, the Lord they always mention how the Lord brought us out of Egypt, how the Lord brought us out of Egypt, how the Lord brought us out of Egypt. So we're giving praise, honor, and glory to our power, Allah Hayyanawa. So I would like to add um Psalms 89, 15 through 18. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. Mm. They shall walk, O Yahweh, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. So what's that yep. joyful sound? The blowing of the trumpets. Yep. All right. Because it's not only just a, a warning that the enemy is coming, it's also it's also a warning and a sign to you to gather to have this holy convocation amongst us Israelites. Okay. Yep. What do you do on this high holy day? If you're not working, you don't do anything that, that your heart desires. You sit at uh -huh. home, you study, you read, you do all that you can, you know, just to just to um, and make yourself become more enlightened. Now, if you have to work, this you know, we're still in captivity. But mm -hmm. the two days that we say to keep to the best of your ability, the day that you need to keep, make sure that you keep the Passover and you keep the Day of Atonement. You know, we also have the Purim. Uh, oh yeah, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, of course. You can't eat huh. anything that has yeast to have in your house after the Passover. So like the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and the Day of Atonement, you want to keep. You want to keep. It's almost like the elders say you need to keep that. You know, those are the days out of the week. I mean, out of the year that you need to take off. But today we're talking about pretty much blowing the trumpet to our God, having a joyful sound. It's almost like a parade. But like I said, we're not in our kingdom, so not all of us can gather together. And be merry and drink, you know, strong drink and eat, you know, uh, give a burnt offer like we should do, you know, yeah. and also to um commemorate this hot this holy convocation that's from our people, that's our heritage, and also remembers of the Lord bringing us out of Egypt because that was mm -hmm. our power that did that. Yep. You know? So that's um, just to see the best of your ability, um, not seer. I'm sorry, let me put it back up there. Um, not seer. I'm strong. All you have to do is treat this like uh, um any other Sabbath, you know. Well, I mean, any new moon Sabbath, you know. Just don't do what you want to do, okay? Mm -hmm. But the Day of Atonement, make sure that you fast on the Day of Atonement, okay? From sundown to um from it's next Sunday eve evening when the sun goes down to Monday, Monday, all right? Monday evening that goes down. Not the one coming up, not this Sunday, the the next Sunday, mm -hmm. okay? Won't be the Day of Atonement where you fast, you don't eat or drink anything, you. You drink, you drink like a gallon of water, like maybe an hour before. You make sure you eat you a, a heavy meal, something that's starchy, mm -hmm. and then you have to go through the whole day without eating or drinking anything. All right, and then and then that'll be affliction unto your soul. But we're gonna get into that later on too. All right, get one back to Psalms eighty nine and seventeen. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our King. Mm -hmm. Right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, hopefully, let how about Shimei was shy by Shimei Hakadash Barakatah. Right, so this holy convocation is pretty much 
we're just pretty much giving reverence into this holy convocation mm-hmm. nothing we can really do right now in our captivity y'all but you know we just wanted to let y'all know man that this is also a part of our heritage this is what makes us such a beautiful people mm-hmm. because because our god showed his power and destroyed the gods of the egyptians and there's only one living power true power and that's our power do you have anything you want to add up okay. God, and that's beautiful too that's the spirit because the spirit led me to psalms 150 about this is a holy convocation and we're coming together joyfully in remembrance of what the the beautiful things Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has done for us all right this is Psalms 150 and so the verse one it says praise ye the Lord Yahweh praise Yahweh in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power praise him for his mighty acts and what was come on man when mm-hmm. when Moses through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua parted the Red Sea man come on all right and that sea collapsed upon our enemies all right the egyptians that was a great act a mighty act okay let me read it again psalms 150 and verse 2 it says praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to his excellent greatness now check this out praise him with the sound of the trumpet praise him with the psaltery and harp you see that that trumpet okay which is what which signifies the remembrance right of us gathering together to praise the lord for his mighty acts for his, what for 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 the miracles that he performed through his son yahweh shai as well okay and through what the prophets starting with moses man okay and it says what praise him with the psaltery in the heart the scriptures this scriptures is a beautiful song okay on this holy convocation like the brother said studying okay we're dwelling in 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 that beautiful sanctuary that spirit of the lord man rehearsing uh, this acts to the best of our abilities all um, right yeah oh uh, so like you nasir today is today we're going by the gregorian calendar yeah so it's still august all right <laughs> it's still august but technically it will be set i mean it will be september but like i said we're going by the gregorian calendar we go by the new moon all right new the moon. next the next new moon falls on tonight remember we had a double sabbath remember we still had the sabbath from last month that we had to keep today so we still had the sabbath from thursday eve to friday eve now the new sabbath for this coming month will be friday eve to saturday eve so that means that from from this sun this sunset the next sunset will be the first day of this new month so that's why this is a holy convocation because it's the first new moon for the new month right so to technically today you, you just need to focus on this the, the phases of the moon don't worry about the, the the um the the actual names of the months and everything just go by the yeah. dates the elders give us that's all that matters yep. you know um, Matter of fact, back uh back you up real quick Ak, with that all right go ahead if you don't mind right, go ahead. so the brother said you know from new moon to new moon this is isaiah 66 and 23 and it says and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me save the lord so the brother just said man we go by the new moons and yeah, go by the moon. <clears throat> if you pay you know if i'm sure you subscribe to the elders the elders actually put those holy uh high holy days out for us to you know to take a hold of and to make sure that we observe them you got it up okay um this is um psalms 81 verse 1 through 4. i'm gonna I'm, I'm read the five come to the chief musician upon get them mm. psalm of asa sing aloud unto god our strength Make a joyful noise unto the mm. God of Jacob. Once again, those trumpets, man. Take a song, which is a song, and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant heart with the psaltery, which would be the string instrument. Remember what I said? It's like a parade. Come. You know, nope. it's like, you know how Jake, you know how Jake, like, you know how Jake is. Hey, man, such and such graduating. Oh, I'm going to get a bar. Let's party. Yep. Oh, such and such birthday. Let's get a bar. Let's party. We always got that party mentality, but we're talking mm-hmm. about holy, <laughs> God, God. You know what I'm saying? this is a holy yep. celebration. Though. Yep. We got a reason. You know, it's mm-hmm. kind of like the one time King David was out there dancing, 
you know and then you know his his rod of correction showed uh his wife his wife was like you out there with the silly women showing yourself oh, like yep. at four and like a fool for my god i will but as for you you threw her in the dungeon and she ain't bred no kids for the rest of her life <laughs> so, that, so that was very humiliating for that woman to open her mouth like that mm-hmm. anyways continuing back verse three psalm 81 and three blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the mm-hmm. time appointed on our solemn feast day, which is today. Shalom, okay. salvation of the elect. How about Shema? Shalom, Shalom. 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 All right. For this was a statue for Israel and mm. a law of the God of Jacob. But you mentioned that in the Numbers 10 and 10 through, I think, 15, where it says into our generations, which meaning is still present today. All right. Verse 5. This he ordained in Joseph for testimony. When he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard a language that I understood not. So once again, it goes back to is also something a, 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 a um a law and a statute that was made unto our people as a testimony mm-hmm. unto Joseph of uh, Joseph of us coming out of Egypt. Egypt. All right. Yep. You, you got something? You got something you want yep. to bring up? There was one. Um. Yeah. Verse. When you go back to Numbers ten and ten. It talks about the day of gladness, right? So it says, <clears throat> also in the day of, but you know what? Nope, I'm, I'm going to go back to verse, I'm going to go to verse nine because that's something too. It says, and if you go to war in your lands against the enemy that oppresses you, so not only what is this trumpet to gather the nations for this beautiful convocation, but also what? For a warning, okay? And you brought that out as well too in the beginning. Uh, uh, it says, if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresseth you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Now, let me get something in Ezekiel. There's something in Ezekiel. I think it's uh, I think it's Ezekiel 33 and 3. Let me just get that real quick. That's yeah, the spirit. Yeah. Ezekiel 33 and verse 3. And it says... Yep. It says what? I'm going to actually start at verse two. And it says, son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. Now check it out. If when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. You see that? So, yes, this is a, 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 a holy convocation of gladness and joy, but also what? The blowing of the trumpets is to sound the alarm for any enemies uh, around encamped about us. Okay, so let's go back to Numbers ten and verse ten, and it says, "Also in the day of your gladness, and in your solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months, ye shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings." And over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord, your God. Okay. So going back to what? This high holy day being a memorial unto us. Okay. Observing this day is what? Observing the mighty works of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay bringing this out of the house of bondage which is what synonymous with egypt egypt means it's the house of bondage okay you got it up come 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 um that's beautiful like you just mentioned talking about egypt now we're going to segue into how we're blowing the trumpet now mm. to, to bring our people out of egypt but yep it's a song 27 5 and 6. For in the time of trouble, it shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies mm. round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. That's what this is. and That's, that's, that's what this is all about. It's really mm-hmm. all about a celebration. Sacrifice of joy, I will sing. Yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Because we're 
we're praising the Lord for saving us and for, mm -hmm. and for giving us such a beautiful heritage. Matter of fact, let me get that since I mentioned it. Um, this is second, second Samuel chapter seven, verse 23. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom God went to redeem for a people to himself and to make him a name mm. and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt oof, from the nations in their gods. So King David asking the question like, what other nation on earth is like the people that you brought up out of Egypt? All right, like like, like who can stand told, told us and say that you are such a great people? Yep. Right? So that's why the Lord deserved, much more than deserved, it's an honor, it's an honor to, to celebrate this high holy day to our power, man. Exactly. Second, second Samuel chapter 7, verse 24 for thou has confirmed to thyself thy people israel to be a people unto thee forever vocab alone vocab alone yep. not in this verse but i had to say that <laughs> and thou lord art become their god mm -hmm. okay and now O lord god the word that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house establish it forever so we're going to be his people forever Exactly. And do as thou hast said. And, and it goes back to what he said. What one nation in the earth is like thy people? And it goes on to say, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, mm -hmm. from the nations and their gods. See, that has happened. And the brother on um, salvation of the elect dropped Psalm 95 and 10. Come, let us sing unto Yahweh. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. That's Beautiful. it. The water. Beautiful. To the rock Beautiful. of our salvation. Yep. Yep. We, 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 we begging him up. We giving him his flowers, a meadow of flowers. <laughs> you know, it's not enough, but we, we, we give you how about Shima Shah their flowers. Let me get that correct. Their flowers, all right? Now let me go to Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. Now let's get busy. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that mm. brought up the children of Israel out of the, out of the land of Egypt. We all know that the Lord brought us out of the land of Egypt. He parted the Red Sea, also known as the Gulf of Suez, swallowed yep. up Pharaoh's um, chariots. I even uploaded a video, I think it was last week, that showed them showing some chariots at the bottom of that uh, Suez, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Verse 15. But the Lord liveth. So remember, no longer shall it be said, the Lord that brought us out of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Mm -hmm. Where are we? North America, North America, Babylon, United States of America, which is yeah, in North America, Come. right? And from all the lands, whether he had driven them. So that means we've been scattered to the four winds of the earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. The heavenly father was the one that pushed us out. And how about Shema Shaga be the ones to Bring pull us back, back in? in. Oof, God. That Rafa declaration is not biblical. You 48 is being there. That is biblical. Going back to the synagogue of Satan, those who say that they are um they say that they are Jews, but are not by the not? Of Satan. At first, originally it goes back to our people, those wicked scribes and Pharisees, but mm -hmm. we drop it on the heads of you Edomites that's posting to be our, our people. The Lord said he will put us in our land. Like he said in Isaiah 14, chapter the first verse. Chapter of God. Yep. Not you writing a letter to a Rothschild. No, 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 no. Because in addition, why the hell you got that? What, why the hell you got that dome? Why y'all still shooting rockets over there? Why y'all still <laughs> fighting? Why the nation still arguing with y'all? Can they come to y'all and ask y'all, can you teach us the ways of the Lord? Mm -hmm. Right? So verse 16. Like Once again, we are blowing the trumpet for celebration. But remember, we also blowing the trumpet to warn our people. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And that's what we are doing right now. Remember, huh. the, the house had a parable saying that we will cast our net and we will gather in all the good, the good and the bad fish, and we would cast away the bad and we will bring in the good. That's pretty much what we do when we post videos, when we, when we um, go out there and make ourselves living sacrifices, okay? I will say from um forgive me. Behold, I will say from any fishers, save the Lord, and they shall fish them. 
And after what I sent for many hunters, hunters. they shall hunt them from every mountain, meaning every nation, mm -hmm. if every hill and out of the hole of the rocks, going back to those those domes. Even Jay-Z said in the song, dummy, I'm getting money on you. Deep underground military bunkers. Nobody calls bunkers. them dummy. That was, that yep. was Jay-Z said that. It was subliminal. Dummy, I'm getting money under you. Because they've been in those deep um, deep underground military bunkers, man. The Lord said, mm -hmm. we're going to go down there in the rocks. In the I saw they had on the, side of a mountain, they, <laughs> on the side of a mountain, they had a big-ass reinforced, like, some kind of industrial gate that came down and it had all the amenities and everything it, you would have thought they were like some, some kind of vacation like mm -hmm. sweet or some shit. they're living inside of a mountain trying to run from the lord I, 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 we're gonna come get you we're gonna come, we gonna get, come you. get you <laughs> okay so yep verse 17 for mine eyes are upon all their ways they are not hid from my face neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes now i want to read the brother priest is 36 mm -hmm. and 24. For I will take you beautiful, beautiful. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land, the water. That is a beautiful precept. And mm -hmm. why do I say that? Because that cuts the whole black Hebrew Israelite thing. We're gonna look like all the nations on the face of the earth. Bird. Hands down. Mm -hmm. We're hands up praying, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <So yeah. laughs> I like that. God, God. You know? That's beautiful. You got some up? So yeah. So like yeah. the brother said, man, through the scriptures, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna place us back into our own land. All right, which is a cut to what? Uh, uh the uh, the the Amalekites over there in the Holy Land, defiling it with their pink parades. Okay, so on and so forth, man, doing all types of of wickedness. Okay, but guess what? Let's go to Jeremiah. 3 and 17, because the brother brought out what? How are we going to be delivered from the land in the north? And to the spirit that brought me to Jeremiah, the third chapter. This is Jeremiah 3. And let's go down to verse 17. And it says, at that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. Now, let's stop there. So when we're placed into our holy land, okay, we're going to rule over all the nations. And have them what? Under subjection. All the nations will come to us. You see, we're under the curses. We're what? We're the tailor, not the head. We're the borrower, not the lender. But once we're placed back into our holy land, we're set back on high. Okay? We're the what? The lender. We are, and then we become the head. Okay? Now check this out. Jeremiah 3 and 17. It says, at that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, in all caps, Yahweh. And all the nations shall be gathered unto it, to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem. Neither shall they walk any more after the imaginations of their evil heart. So think about it. What were the imaginations of our heart? Going whoring after other idols, after other gods. Okay. Worshiping what? Christmas. Okay. Holidays. Right. Now you got, you know, remember. We were placed in captivity. But what did Baruch 2 and 30 says? In the land of our captivities, we shall what? Remember oh, ourselves. Wow. So that's remembering what? This beautiful high holy day. Okay. The Shabbat. All right. The day of atonement. So on and so forth. All right. Let's continue. And it says, and in those days, the house of Yahweh shall walk with the house of Israel. So what is that going into? The gathering of the nations. Being taken out, out of what? The four corners of the earth where we were scattered. Okay? Let's go. Let's get it. In those days, the house of Yahweh shall walk with the house of Yasha Allah. And they shall come together out of the land of the north. All the nations. All 12 tribes are here. And what they call what? The melting pot. Okay. Let's get it. It says together out of the land of the north to the Salakia. Out of the land of the north to the land that I had given for an inheritance unto your fathers. 
Exactly. So this is the future prophecy which is happening at this time as we speak. Okay. All tribes are waking up. This gospel is being preached to the four corners of the earth to wake up the elect, right? To bring Israel back into remembrance. Yep. Blowing that okay. trumpet. We're blowing the trumpet. Isaiah 50 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Right I'm in Lift there right now. That's like the what? Yep. That's the chapter like I'm in right now. Like a trumpet, man. That's you got spirit, it up. <laughs> yeah, hey. So as we know. Going into memorial, blowing the trumpets, mm -hmm. pretty much it's just it's like a beautiful parade into our power, gathering mm -hmm. everyone to come praise Yahweh Hashem Shai, and also it's still used as a war cry. It's really yeah. like a war cry because, like I say, you go to the blue letter, it says that it's for a joyful sound and also a war cry. A prime mm -hmm. example would be the Native Americans when they do their rain dances and stuff like that. Those yeah. are really war. Those are warrior songs. Even King David, when King David said. Bless be the Lord that teaching my hands to war. That's really a song. It's a mm -hmm. song. You know, yep. it's a war cry, but it's a song, you know. So um now that we have that, let's get into the day of atonement. I just want to touch on this, and then after that, we could close out. You know, no, like no. I said, it's a beautiful convocation, beautiful gathering here right now today. Yes, sir. This is Leviticus chapter 23, verse 27. Also on the 10th day of this seventh month, which would be not this Sunday, the <laughs> next Sunday evening to Monday evening. That mm -hmm. would be the 10th day of this month. Okay. So they go to show you that the new moon determines the first day of the month, not the calendar that we have today. All right. It shall be in a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire. Unto the Lord, once mm -hmm. again, another offering. But because your house shall be that sacrificial lamb, we don't have to do that. But Come. you still have to afflict your souls. What is afflicting your soul? Fasting, no eating, no drinking. And believe yep. it or not, believe it or not, chewing gum has calories. Can't chew gum. It you does. Have I mean, nothing. You can't have a you can't, you can't have a package. You can't have a spoon of mayonnaise. I don't know why I use mayonnaise. You can't have that either. Nothing, man. All right. God. So. Um, verse 28, and you shall do no work in that same day. And I, I think it's by the by the spirit. How about Shema Sha? I think it's Labor Day. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, that day, and I'm off that day. So, the what how about Shema Sha? Beautiful. For it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day. He shall be cut off from among his people. That's why that's why the elders say that Passover, the day of atonement, you make sure you get them days off. Mm -hmm. All right. And whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. Because, like the elders say, um, you could take the day of atonement off and the and the Passover off, but you can't take every Sabbath off because if you do that, you end up you end up getting fired. Yeah. Yep. The scripture said, Be not over righteous much, why destroy thyself? Mm -hmm. The Lord knows mm -hmm. the reins of your heart, you know. So, um, now with that being said, that's just a day to a see, that's how merciful the Lord is. We have a day well where, where the priest will take a sacrifice, and like that sacrifice will be for the sins of Israel, but you mm -hmm. still gotta atone for it. You get what I'm saying? Like that's uh, how merciful yep. the Lord was. Uh, so it's you know what that means? You know what I mean? Uh, we had to be some goddamn rug rats. We had to be some damn, we had to be miscreants. We had to be yep. baby kids multiplied yep. for us to be in this situation. We even have a high holiday to atone for our sins, and we still went off. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Come on, man. But nonetheless, though, this is on um, Psalms 69 and 10. So listen to what listen to what um i believe this is david let me make sure this is right yeah this is david this is what david said when i wept and chastened my soul with fasting mm. that was to my reproach that was to his reproach for what he, and a prime example would be what when king david committed openly adultery. committed yep. adultery, adultery with yeah. Bathsheba. what mm -hmm. did the lord do the lord chastised his the lord chastised david but he didn't touch david 
he did the worst thing you could possibly do. The Lord touched someone son. that they, he touched his son. Mm -hmm. His son got sick, so David fasted for a whole week. The elders, the, everybody tried to feed David. David wouldn't take nothing. Then nope. eventually the Lord took his son's spirit. So then they, they, ain't nobody want to tell David, but David can hear the murmuring, so he figured that his son was gone. So then mm -hmm. that's when David rose up, washed himself, and when he got something to eat, and then one of the men, the gentleman was saying, this whole time while his son was sick, he wouldn't eat or drink. He said, but now his son is gone. He wishes to eat and drink. Roughly paraphrasing. King David was like, pretty much like, I, I fasted to humble myself to ask the Lord to show mercy to my son. Now mm -hmm. you're like, pretty much my son is not with me. Therefore, my son will never return to me, but I will return to him. That was a heavy statement. Meaning that he know where the spirit go. My nah, son never will to me, but I will return to him. So that's so he he fasted for what for his reproach. So that's yep. what we so that's what we're fasting for for our reproach as well. All right, the brother salvation of the elect drop Psalm seventy three and one. Wait a minute, I think this brother from across the water. I think this brother from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. If this you man, where you mm -hmm. been? Tell him on, bro. <laughs> I think it's that brother. Psalm seventy three and one. Truly, God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. Beautiful. Right. Only good to. And those and those and like the scripture says, what make it say that his heart is clean? None, except you, unless you have a shy. But the scripture says, how shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed to the word? So that's yep. how we clean in our hearts, okay? Our minds, so to say, okay. So now let me get um a couple more precepts, and then if you want, you got something to you know to speak on to close out with. You got it. Let me bring this out really quick. This is Isaiah chapter fifty nine. Verse the 59. Oh, so like here. 58. <clears throat> 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up that one like a trumpet, and shoot my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. We're doing that. Come. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fast, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast, ye find pleasure and exact all your labors. We're not supposed to. So in other words, when it says that when you fast, when you fast, that means that you don't do it as to having people see. You don't go yep. around saying, yeah, I'm fasting today, man. You know, you see it on my face. I'm no, you don't do that. That's what it means. And you're not doing it to seek pleasure, and you don't even do your own pleasures, nor do you do your own labors. Like I was telling the brother from earlier, Nasir, you know, I was telling him. Or you when you when you do the day of atonement, it's no different than the day of atonement is no different than like a Shabbat. You know, if you, if you have a day off for the Shabbat, okay, yeah, you can make you a sandwich, a bowl of cereal, whatever, but you're not supposed to be like lighting a fire and making a major meal. But on a yep. day of a token, you can't eat or drink anything. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. That's the difference, you know. Continuing on. Verse um, Isaiah 58 and 5. I'm, matter of fact, forgive me. 4. Oh, ye fast for strife and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. So mm. you fast to make your voice to be heard on high. And I, and I like to say this too. When you fast, I speak as a man when I say this, when you fast, you become more like the angels. Come. The angels don't eat. They don't drink. You know? So so as you're affecting your body, your spirit gets stronger. Mm -hmm. I, I'm telling you. In corruption, the first, fast, the first 12 hours going to feel yep. like hell. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yeah, man. Past that 16th hour, once God. you get past that 16th hour, mm -hmm. and then you get done with the day of atonement, and your mind, you be like, man, I can go two or three more days. You really feel mm -hmm. like that. you really do feel like that, you God. know. Before I ever step foot out, I fasted for three days straight. You know, now I didn't. Now I still was doing things I shouldn't have been doing, like watching bull crap and all that. But that feeling is real, man. That's wow. a really that's a real feeling. That's the most type of fast. It was three days straight, you know. But I didn't eat or drink anything, though, you know. But anyways, getting back to it. Verse five, 
It is such a fast that I have chosen, a day for a man to afflict his soul. It is to bow down his head as a bulrush mm -hmm. and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him. Would thou call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? These are questions, y'all. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. Mm -hmm. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy, from thy own flesh. So it's much more than just fasting for yourself. It's really like as you do that, you still being, you still showing brotherly love. Like how was I told the one man, he said, the two main commandments is to uh, love you. How about she may mm -hmm. with, oh, I say this, bro. Love you. How about she may with all your heart, putting it with the God before them and mm -hmm. to love that brother as thyself. Mm -hmm. That's those, that, that's, that, that's what the whole law is hung up on, you know? Now, oh, this is my last verse, and then you can bring out whatever you want. Uh, yeah. Verse 8, oh, Isaiah 58 and 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, mm. and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy re-reward. That's what it says. Ooh. Thy re-reward. Mm -hmm. er, you can take that. Okay. <laughs> God, man. We'll talk. All right. yeah. so you are, so, you Con, so I just wanted to land back off what you brought out about the about the fasting. You know, this is this is Yahweh Shai's words, which was was also a great a great example of self affliction, man. Okay, what Yahweh Shai had to go through, man. I could listen. I couldn't even imagine that. All right, when he fasted forty days and forty nights. Okay, when he went up unto the Lord by himself in sorrow Big and fast. affliction. And fasted to the Lord. Come on, man. This That's is Matthew one. six. This is Matthew six, and I'm starting at verse sixteen. It says, "Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their face." Like the brother said, "Yo, man, yeah, man, look, you see me, man? I'm dehydrated. The lips all cracked. Yeah, okay, you see, you see my cheekbones up. See my cheekbones exactly. up. Exactly. Oh, and it you. says that they may appear unto men to fast." Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Now check this out. But thou, when thou fasteth, anoint thy head and wash thy face. So it's saying what? Don't, listen, man. We're not fasting for the eyes of men. We're fasting in the eyes of the Lord to prove ourselves, okay? That's all to it. To prove ourselves worthy to the Lord, man, okay? Without the Lord, we, listen, man, we, we'll be done, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Verse 18 says that Salakia, Matthew 6 and 18 says that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret. Secret. The same thing, the same way to pray. Go in thy closet to not hold hands out there like the hypocrites do to be seen in the eyes of men. Okay. Matthew 6 and 18, I read this entirely. And it says. That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. Fact. Okay? Right. So, especially on these high holy days, man, especially on the Day of Atonement, okay? And I know right now we're in the memorial of the blowing trumpets, right? But the Day of Atonement... Is a very, very imperative holy day. We have to afflict our spirit. Okay. We also have to what? Be in suffering as Yahweh Shai did. For he was, a, oh, that's a spirit, because he was a great example. Let's let's go to um let me just get it. I'm gonna go into I uh first Peter 2. Just go to it. First Peter 2 and 21. I'm gonna just get the point. It says, For even here unto were ye called. Because Yahawashai also suffered for us. Okay? Leaving what? Us an example that ye shall follow his steps. God. Okay? And Yahawashai came what? To do the Father's will. Yep. 
So if we're following in Yahweh Shai steps, guess what? We're going to follow the ordinances that he's given that to us since we came out of Egypt, man. Going back into the memorial of the blowing of trumpets. Okay? Warning you to come back, repent, and to take back what? To seek the old paths, man. The that good way. Point. Okay? Yeah. That's all to it. And the wadi yahaw bashim yahushah for open up, for open up our, our spirits, man, to receive this truth, man. Because without, listen, without the heavenly father and without Yahweh Shai, what the hell are we going to, we can't do anything, man. When Esau, Edom coming like a flood, we finished, man. But we rehearsed the righteous acts, man. Okay. So we can receive that re-reward as the brother brought out in the scriptures. You got it up. <laughs> yeah, re-reward. They, they already got that reward. We're going to get the re-reward. You said, uh -huh. Sessa, you said, um, you know, to follow Yahweh Shai. I mean, this brother just in the spirit because look at what it mm -hmm. says. This brother, salvation in the elect, John, first John 2 and 6. Yep. He that saith he abideth in him, ought himself also Ooh, so God, God. Yep. to walk, even as he walked. Man, that's mm -hmm. I gotta put a star on that one again. Yeah, hey man. man, that's that's real because um love is an action. So with love being an action, that means it's, it requires you. To perform, it's all exactly. about, even even not eating, abstaining from drinking is an action. Mm -hmm. Every action doesn't cause for you to physically do something, you know. Because even the Lord said He knew the thoughts of the people when they was when they was talking ill of Him, you know. Murmuring. But yep. one thing I want to say before we close out, speaking mm -hmm. about speaking of fasting, remember. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna read this really quick. Then I'm gonna close out. This Yahweh shot was a prime example of fasting. Because mm. what I thought you was going to bring up, uh, to be honest, I thought you were going to bring up Matthew, the fourth chapter. But you brought up Matthew, the sixth chapter. God, God. Matthew, the fourth chapter, I'm going to bring out that really goes back to the whole fasting. Mm -hmm. Matthew, chapter four, verse one. Then was Shai led up of the spirit into the wilderness yep. to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hunger. So he was weak, mm -hmm. the body, the wicked flesh. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Try to tip you, I was shot. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of, out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up to the holy city and set him on, on the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning mm. thee. They go back to Psalm 94. So what that means, the angels going to have charge over us as well. Huh. Think about that. So mm -hmm. the first thing, that's why I say it brings you close to the angels. I'm going to keep reading so you can understand why I'm bringing this out. Mm -hmm. And in thy hand they shall bear thee up, at least at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And how shall I say unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil take him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, all these things will I give thee and thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve. Mm. He comes to point. Then the devil leaving him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So as he was fasting, the tempter tried to tempt him. He 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 rebuked the devil. He fled, and the angels assist him. So imagine in his last days, you may go days without eating, but then somebody can Esau here. Hey, just hey, just come ahead, hey, just come ahead and get this, mm -hmm. and to put this in your wrist. You can eat. It's warm inside. It's not cold out. Come on. No, no devil. I'm gonna rebuke you. And the Lord will send devil, he flee. And the Lord will send send um powers mm -hmm. to come save you, man. So Yahweh Shai was a prime example right there that when he was when he was fast for 40 days and 40 nights, he got tempted and he still rebuked the devil, and angels came and, and um aided him. So you got you gotta believe that the Lord is with you as well in these last days. Okay. Matter of fact, close out here. Close out here. Wow, that's the spirit too. That just the spirit hit one. me. 
Hey, all right, well, hit me, man. After this one, after this one, you can bring yours out. Uh, so Ross chapter two, verse sixteen. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto Him, and mm -hmm. they that love Him shall be filled with the law. Beautiful. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts. We talked about a clean heart earlier, mm -hmm. and humble their souls in His sight. The day of atonement saying we will fall into the hands of the lord and not into the hands of men for as his majesty is so is his mercy man so and i just brought like when you brought out the matthew the fourth chapter man and how you know your how is shy is that great example for us man it brought means to you know what you brothers you philippians the fourth chapter man i gotta bring it out <laughs> philippians four in verse 12 and it says and i know both how to be abased and i know how to be abound and everywhere and in all things i am instructed both to be full and to be hungry both to abound and to suffer need mm. now check this out i can do all things through mashiach which strengthens me man and the brother just brought out we're going to be what the angels are going to come minister unto us as well all right, just like how they came and ministered unto Yahweh Shai, who fasted for 40 days and for 40 nights and was tempted multiple times by the devil, man. We just read that Yahweh Shai was an example for us, man. And we're supposed to walk the way he walks, man. You don't think that the Lord is going to give us that spiritual strength to do so? This We just read it. We could do all things through who? Mashiach, who strengthens us, man. That's right. Call him Yahweh Shai, man. Woo. That's right. And John Jones, Jones got that tattooed on him. That <laughs> he, hey, Jones, in, the ring, in the ring, he is a god. Outside mm -hmm. the ring, he just gets to so much mischief. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's lost outside the ring, man. But Yahweh Shai taught his hands to war, but outside of that, he can't control. He can't control those desires, man. You know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they brought it to my mind. Hey, um, the brother from England, man. Man, how have you thought, man? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm glad you found my channel. I'm glad the Lord kept the spirit on me to keep feeding the sheep, man. Brother, anytime, man. Drop a comment, man. I, it's, it's always good to see you, brother. Glad to see brothers out there still moving and pushing. Oh, man. Hey, oh, uh, hey, I pray that we see you on the chariot, too. You know, I'll wrap this up. Yeah. Enjoy. yeah, for real. I mean, I don't even know if we can shed tears in outer space, but we're going to be <laughs> you're gonna be up there hooping and hollering. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, the Jordan River that's gonna come out of my eyes, man. I'm, gonna bring I'm the river telling you, Ock. Yep. Yeah. Labor into oh, that, that rest, man. That beautiful rest. That's all I got, Ock. The spirit. Likewise, likewise, likewise. So, uh, all right, everybody. We just pretty much went down a little bit on the uh, mm -hmm. memorial, blowing of the trumpets. Delve into a little bit with the Day of Atonement. Make sure through the Spirit of Yahweh Hashem I pray that y'all have um, Labor Day off so that you can actually oh. keep the Day of Atonement. It shouldn't really be no excuse. If you got to work, I, I mean, in the captivity, but, yep. hey, if, hey, if it, hey, if it, if it needs be, do it on the day you off then. Just mm -hmm. show how much you truly love Yahweh Hashem and you hope for forgiveness. Just do it on one of your days off then. You know. Like, Lord, I gotta work. I can't, you know, I can't lose my job. The Lord knows the rays of your heart. You know, we can't be oh. righteous anyway. But you know, still, still make an attempt. You know, what I'm saying, love is an action, man. It's so much more than just words. Trust me, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, then, with that being said, pray I was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Don't fear it. Don't endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Call me on Sha'ala. A waffle of a ball. Shalom to you all. Shalom, 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 shalom